I'm using acrylic green paint on a sponge and just wiping onto the top and bottom edges. I wipe on and then off so that the colour's really subtle. With the peel and with the half eaten banana, it's a little easier if you just colour the bottom part in green. Again, wipe it off. You hardly need to notice that green's there. Then I simply use a super fine permanent marker pen in brown to add the details, little lines, etc. You may prefer to use paint either stippled or sponged on for these details. Remember, the more overripe the banana, the more brown spots and the less green. However, even underripe bananas may have some brown damage marks on them. Don't forget these ends where it's been torn off the plant. And the little points. Sometimes you can nip off the points to make them a little blunter. Either with your fingers or with a blade. Ripeness is indicated by spots. Damage is more like straight scuff marks. There's the scuff marks. You can see those and the spots are the ripeness. The finer you can get these spots, obviously, the better. Anywhere where it might have been damaged. A banana peel is even more likely to be fairly brown and damaged. So you need quite a lot of spots and scratches. <laughs> 